<laughs> so uh, first of all, thank you so much for this interview and for your time. Thank uh, you too. I know you are already in Mexico. Finally, <laughs> this tour has been postponed so many times. So how are you feeling about it? Oh, you know what? It's so good to be here. Uh, it's so, um, uh, we have been looking forward to this tour for a long time. We were here like 11 years ago, I think. And uh, all just great memories from playing here, which is uh, the audience and uh, the people, the food, the atmosphere, the temperature. Oh, everything is just great. Yeah. So nice. And uh, I have to say that I really love the album Disclosure. Uh, Thank you. And I think the, the cover art is it's beautiful. It's something beautiful and fragile. And I really love the song Gemini One as well. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, this album is more personal. Uh, so to speak, it uh, have a, a dark atmosphere. And on the other hand, the, the new album, uh, Beautiful Distortion, of course, maintains this atmosphere, but it's lighter. So, uh, so do you agree with that? And uh, what are the main differences between uh, these two albums? I think for me, uh... Uh, and I think also for um, René, uh, the Beautiful Distortion is a very, very personal album. Uh, but also Disclosure was, a, you know, ev all my lyrics are more or less personal. Not, not everyone, but um, um, I think uh, on, on, this, uh, <clears throat> on this album, uh, they were ha we have had more time, you know, to a lot of time to to do, to work on it. And Rene came up with some really amazing ideas when he has been through some heavy times in his life. And um, also for me, it's like writing uh, lyrics and and things. Also like making compose composing vocal lines on top of something that I know is very personal for Rene also makes it very personal, you know, for, for me. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I ever replied to your question, but <laughs> they are both very personal, if I can say that way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, about the, the album title, The Beautiful Distortion, um, I see a connection uh, between the situation we are living, uh, like the pandemic situation, and how to get something beautiful uh, of this distortion, <laughs> you know? Uh, how does uh, the, the album title um, relate to the lyrics? Well, uh, we spent a lot of time trying to find the right title for this album. Uh, so it was like, um, we had many ideas and we were like back and forth. And we, we always came back to this one because it, the, the distortion thing is, is, you know, has been a lot of the last couple of years because of the pandemic, of course, and, and also uh, how, how life had, had been like completely different from what we were used to. And, but also that you can make something beautiful out of it, which is like the music we made, um, or at least we think. <laughs> So it's like, uh, it is exactly what you said, like uh, a mix of, of, uh, of also like the communication part is also difficult, you know, because you couldn't meet, you couldn't travel. Uh, even the guys, I live in Norway, the guys live in the Netherlands, and they couldn't meet because it was, you know, and also in the studio, you know, recording with, with a face mask on your face, you, the only thing you can see is the eyes, you know, also the expression is also like, very strange. So um, in the end, we thought that that the title was really describing for the whole process of the album. So I think the writing process of this album was a, a little different uh, of the previous one. Yeah, in one way, I, I always write my vocal lines and lyrics on my own. 
uh, where I am. Uh, so, but we also, you know, go together and we, we maybe rehearse the songs a bit. We, we never rehearsed the songs before we went in the studio because we couldn't. So that was like uh, only digital uh, rehearsal, if you know what I mean, like recording, um, pre-productions, back and forth, sending to each other. So that was that was very different from other the other albums. So we 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 had some shows in June this year, and we only, only rehearsed a few times before the show the shows <laughs> together. So that was like very very uh, very special. But uh, yeah, that was different. Yeah, and uh, you guys also released uh, EP uh, this year. So uh, the songs uh, were recorded. At the same time as beautiful dispersion songs, more or less, uh, except from <clears throat> stronger, which was supposed to be an instrumental song, uh, and uh, I think I got the song Hugo bass player. He sent me the song. I think like a Sunday evening, and like yeah, it's like you know this. Now we have this song, and uh, I just want to send you. Maybe if you have ideas, you know you can always record and see if. Or something but we would go in a studio I think it was on Tuesday and and mix it and finish it so um, if you're going to do something it has to be like now you know and I heard a song and I was like yeah this is really cool so I just uh, got, I made something really quickly and uh, recorded it in my home studio and uh, sent it back to the guys and they were like yeah this is cool <laughs> so uh, that was a super super quick yeah And and it was produced uh, by a different guy. Uh, Atti produced uh, Atti Bauer produced yeah, the mm -hmm. album, and uh, this this one was produced by uh, uh, a, a, another Dutch guy, which uh, also has worked with the guys before, Fido Alba. I think I, I've said a bit wrong, maybe because it's a <laughs> typical Dutch name. Um, but um, you, maybe you can hear a bit in the sound that it's a little bit different from from. From the other ones. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. But we yeah. had too many songs, so we needed to separate them. Yeah, of course. And yeah. uh, now talking about the, the set list, uh, next week you guys are going to play here in Brazil. So we will have any surprise uh, for the concert here in Brazil? Um, we have a few uh, extra songs we haven't played yet because we have actually quite a lot of songs <laughs> we decided to play. So um, I don't think there would be like a very big surprise, but uh, maybe one or two other songs that we haven't played before I will come. Um, but we have to see a little bit on time and everything, how things run, how much time we have to sound check and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, But, you know, the travel also gets a bit, uh, sometimes like the first day when we came here, We didn't get the luggage in time, we just got it really late. So we missed the flight, the connecting flight to Leon. Oh yeah. So we had to stay. So all these things also makes, you know, things takes more time. Get to the venue sometimes a bit later because of traffic and stuff. So we better play a good show with yeah. <laughs> good songs than uh, do some uh, special things that's a bit like uncertain. You know, going from uh, Mexico to Colombia and then Bolivia, and then we have the Brazilian shows and then also the, the Chilean shows. So there are some uh, hours in the airports. You have to be there early so you to make sure that you get everything sorted. And, <laughs> yeah, but it yeah. is really great fun. It's worth. It's worth it all. <laughs> Yeah, and, and change the subject a little bit. Uh, you are a very powerful, powerful uh, woman in the metal scene. And it's great to have women uh, in the progressive metal or do metal, not only in symphonic metal, you know. Uh, so uh, do you think uh, there were changes in the scene from when you started versus today? Oh, yes, um, I think so. Um, uh, when I started with my old band, Octavia, we often got the question, because we were only girls at 
that point. And in interviews, we get questions like, so who writes your music, for example, you know, it's like, uh, we, <laughs> and like, no, really? And uh, some interviews were about how is it to be on tour? Do you argue a lot? Is it busy in front of the mirror? Do you have to fight to get your makeup on? And these stupid questions like, what the fuck, oh you know, God. can we talk about the music? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I don't get these questions anymore, which is good. Um, uh, but I think also it's important a bit to talk about, you know, being a uh, female in this uh, male dominated scene. Also, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a singer, but I'm also working in, uh, I, have, I run two other companies in the music business. Uh, so um, I think it's important that, that there are some somebody doing it so it's easier for others to to join in and I think there's a lot more women now than it used to be which is good yeah, yeah. but I don't think I'm very powerful as you said <laughs> oh the, I think you are but, <laughs> no I, I think it's it's more that um um you, you have to find your ways in a way, you know, you have to, you have to just, there is some kind of a system, you know, going on because it's been going on for a while. So you have to kind of adjust into that and do it a bit your way to, to make it work. Um, because guys do things differently than we do. You know, we, we have other things sometimes that we think is important. Um, uh, and so we have to, you know, we have to be maybe extra smart or work extra hard sometimes to get yeah. um, to get the yeah credit or what do you say yeah something like that you, you probably know the same you are <laughs> also working in the music business yeah and sometimes we, we have to prove that we know uh, what we are talking about yeah it's a bit strange sometimes because uh, yeah you just want to be on the same level, you know, just accepted as the as the same uh, in the group or whatever you, you you can say. But um, but I think it's important that we are uh, aware of it and that we are also uh, maybe thinking how we do things so it's easier for other to join and also recruiting other girls is is important, young girls yeah. as well. Yeah, it's really important. And uh, now, how, um, sorry, what are the, the band's next plans uh, after the concert? Oh, we have uh, some more shows this year in the Netherlands. And then we also, we were also, uh, we also have planned a Europe tour. But since the pandemic, it's been so busy, everybody's touring. And um, so all the venues are like really booked and it can be a bit difficult, you know, to, to um, uh, get the right dates because of course the biggest bands, they, they get the best dates and stuff. And also uh, the tour bus and all those things, the suppliers, the prices are crazy high, but uh, definitely playing some more shows is our plan. And also, um, you know, start working on some new music. It's uh, something we always do. Oh, great. Uh, now my, my last question is a little different. Which band do you think would make a cool cover of any of the Gathering songs? <laughs> well, that, if some bands wanted to do that, I think there would be a lot of bands that could do it. Um, that's a very good question, but also very difficult to, to answer, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure really. It would be, of course, very cool if uh, someone, some of my, the bands I love, did it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure to say what who would who would do it. I've never thought of this before. <laughs> do you have a good suggest suggestion? Well, I think Catatonia uh, would make a cool version because <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Good one. I'll, I'll stick with that. 
<laughs> okay. That would be an honor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe a really different band, like I don't know, um, Amaranth or Rammstein with the electronic stuff. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much once again for for this interview, and leave your message for your Brazilian fans. Yeah, we are very much looking forward to coming to play. We played there uh, in 2011, uh, which I remember quite well, meeting some really nice, nice people there, uh, and also the food. <laughs> looking forward a lot. So I uh, hope to see, uh, see you there. Yeah, <laughs> great. So see you next week. And yeah, you will come. Have yeah, I I will go. I, I'm from Curitiba. It's six hours by car, but I will be there. <laughs> oh my god, that's long. <laughs> so thanks a lot. Nice talking to you. Oh, it was an honor. And see you at the concert. <laughs> see you. Yeah, cool. Bye okay. bye. Bye.